Violence on campus, an arrest after a student on student attack in class at Granada Hills Charter High School. Uh, what makes it even worse? Some parents say not one adult in that room intervened. KCAL Mines Lauren Posen reports some students don't feel safe now returning to class. This isn't a school that has these kinds of things happen. Patricia Menjavar says she couldn't believe what her son told her when she picked him up from Granada Hills Charter School Monday. But he heard that um, a student had gotten hurt on campus and that there was a lot of blood and that's all the information he knew. The victim's family says the attack happened during a Spanish class. We spoke with another parent who didn't want to go on camera but told us her son was in that class. She says he told her the victim thought a classmate was laughing at her. When she went to approach him, he started punching her in the face repeatedly, then stomping on her head, dragging her by her hair, and then leaving her in a pile of blood before walking out. Multiple parents, including the victim's family, say no adult jumped in to stop the abuse. The girl was attacked so badly, the student says when she took off her mask, most of her teeth fell out. Around 2 o'clock Monday afternoon, parents say they got this letter from the school. The letter, only saying safety is a top priority and that social workers would be stopping by to talk to students. What we would really wish for is that the school would just give us some information that is clear because of everything that's going on. Um, so that we'll, we feel that our children are safe. School police say an arrest was made Tuesday, but wouldn't go into any other details. Some parents told me their kids stayed home from school because of what they witnessed. It, it just, you know, breaks your heart for the, the young lady and her parents and, and just for, you know, the trauma of the children who were also in the classroom. I reached out to the school twice, but haven't heard back yet. I'll let you know when I do. Reporting in Granada Hills, Lauren Posen, KCAL 9 News.